How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tag and today I'm going to teach you how to remove a forgotten passcode of any iPad. This is the new 2020 updated process and again it works for every single iPad model you may have. This is truly amazing. If you're looking for an iPhone process to remove a forgotten passcode of your iPhone, it's a different video, it's a separate video. I'm going to have a card right here. So just click on that card and you're going to go straight to the iPhone process. Again, this is iPad only. Just to be clear, I'm talking about the lock screen passcode, this one right here that you put to unlock your device. So your iPad may be in this state right here. So it is fully working, it is functional, but you just forgot the passcode so then of course you can't access your iPad because you forgot it or even worse maybe you have tried it so many times that uh, your iPad is like this iPad is disabled as you guys can see and it may be disabled for a minute 50 minutes an hour hours and hours and hours it doesn't matter so uh, it doesn't matter what situation your iPad is so either working or disabled if you don't remember your passcode your lock screen passcode I'm gonna help you out with this video I'm gonna show you how to remove it and gain access to your iPad again it's gonna be fully working again this is awesome Let's go, let's begin. So as you can already tell, we will need a computer for this process to remove a forgotten passcode of our iPad. But don't worry because it doesn't need to be a Mac, a MacBook or anything like that. If you have a Windows PC, it works as well. So it works for every single computer that you may have. Don't worry about that. The only difference is if you have a Windows PC, you will need to download iTunes, okay? So if you don't already have it, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below. So you go there, you download iTunes. It's of course 100% free. Uh, it's made by Apple, so don't worry. So download iTunes and then we're all good to go. Uh, my iPad is back to its normal state, but I'm gonna put it um, as inactive again just to prove my point okay so it's disabled inactive again all right so after we are done with this first part of getting itunes if you're on windows if you're on mac you don't need to do anything now uh, we're gonna have to go to this website right here called ipsw.me um, most of you guys are familiar with this, the ones who aren't, we're going to download the firmware, the iOS or iPadOS version for our iPad manually. Uh, trust me, this is the best way to do it right now. It's faster, it's much better than downloading straight from iTunes or Finder. Trust me, this is better, okay? This is updated for the 2020 process and this is the way to go, okay? So um, as soon as you go to ipsw.me, again, link in the description, um, you're gonna need to uh, choose your product. So, so in this case, iPad, and then we're gonna need to choose your device. So uh, as you know, there are dozens of iPad models from the iPad 1 all the way to the iPad 7, which is this one right here, which is the newest Apple has made available right, right now. Uh, one very important thing, if you don't know exactly what iPad version you have, this may be your case, there are so many models, you can go to this link, which is Apple's own support website on how to identify your iPad model. Again, link down below if you're not sure of what iPad version you have. This is very easy, this is very cool, you're gonna find it super fast, okay? Uh, so let's continue. Uh, one important thing is if you have an iPad Pro, the one without a home button, so the brand new iPad Pro without a home button, uh, I have a different video for you. So again, I'm gonna put a card right here at the top. So uh, go to that link because the video is a little bit different if you're on specifically an iPad Pro without a home button. For all the other dozens of models, uh, that's exactly the same, okay? Sorry, I, I misclicked right here. So I'm gonna go to iPad 7 Wi-Fi. That's my model, iPad 7th generation Wi-Fi only. So I'm gonna tap here uh, and then I'm gonna go and download the iPad OS 13.3.1, which is the latest version please only download signed IPSW files, okay? Don't download unsigned, otherwise it will not work. Don't download the red ones, only the green ones, okay? This is very important. So then tap here, and then it's gonna start downloading automatically. Um, actually, I'm gonna need to scroll down and hit download. Sorry about that. And then after you do that, it's gonna start downloading right now. And as you can see, it 
could be a little bit large depending on uh, it could be a little bit slow depending on your internet connection uh, it could take hours or minutes it depends I'm gonna have to wait a bit here and then I'll be back when that's done okay okay so now that the download has finished as you guys can see here uh, I would recommend that you pick it up from the download folder and put it in your desktop this is gonna make your life much easier uh, trust me so now that we have the file the software itself and we also have iTunes if you're running Windows or if you're running Mac you don't need anything else we're good to go. Okay, so we can finally get started and we're gonna need to get our iPad and put it in recovery mode. Okay, we're gonna put it in recovery mode manually. To do that, of course, we will need the computer, we will need a cable, and that's it. And it's just one process for every single iPad model there is, okay? So plug the cable to the computer. Keep in mind that maybe your computer is gonna be USB type C, maybe your computer is gonna be USB type A. So just uh, pay attention to that, to use the correct cable for your computer and your iPad, okay? So uh, to put it in recovery mode, all you're gonna need to do is first turn off your iPad. To do that, you're gonna need to press the power button, okay and keep holding doesn't matter if it is in the disabled screen or whatever as you guys can see just press and hold and then slide to power off that's it for every single ipad model there is from the ipad 1 to the new ipad 7th generation all you have to do is this so turn it off and then now that it's off all you have to do is press and hold the home button okay the home button right here so you're gonna press and hold that button and then plug in the cable okay so press and hold the button i'm pressing and holding with my right thumb and then plugging it in as you guys can see just wait a few seconds you're gonna see the apple logo the boot up screen you're seeing it right here i'm still pressing and holding and then you're gonna see the recovery mode screen now i can release the button and then put my ipad right here i don't need to touch that ipad anymore until the end of the video okay as soon as you plug it in, you're going to see a message. So there's a problem with the iPad iPad that requires it to be updated or restored. That message can be from either iTunes or can be from Finder, depending on what uh, OS version you're running. It doesn't matter. As soon as you plug your, your iPad to your computer and it starts with the recovery mode screen, as it just did, you're going to see a pop up on your computer. If there's no pop up from those software, it means that there's something wrong with the software so just re-download itunes for example okay so there's a problem with the ipad that needs to be restored okay we're gonna need to restore it but we're gonna need to cancel that first message okay because we're gonna need to restore the device right here as you guys can see restore we're gonna need to restore it pressing a button because of course we're gonna need to select that firmware that file that we have manually downloaded okay so if we're using uh, a windows computer you're gonna need to click on it so click on this button while pressing the shift key the shift key on your keyboard if you're doing this on a mac you're gonna need to again click on the restore button but we're gonna uh, press on the option key on your keyboard okay so hold the the key option on mac shift on pc and then click on the button as you guys can see you're gonna get a pop-up to select your uh, file and that's what we're gonna do that's why I said I told you to put it in a desktop so then desktop iPad and open so now you're manually selecting it so as you guys can see your Mac will erase and restore your iPad to iPad OS 13.3.1 and will verify the restore with Apple very important this process will erase everything from this iPad it will, it will clean it wipe it completely erase every and all data that it is right here on this device but if you have a backup any kind of backup you can recover it later after the restore process is done you can recover everything from your backup so you don't need to lose anything if you don't have a backup i'm sorry you're gonna lose everything but that's the only way i assure you that's the only way to do it all right so now all you have to do is hit restore and then we gotta wait so as you guys can see your mac is preparing to restore the software on this ipad this screen may be a little bit different if we're using itunes or if we're using a, an older version of a mac doesn't matter 
uh, you're gonna see those exact same messages maybe a little bit different on the screen maybe at the top here uh, it doesn't matter it is the exact same thing okay I'm just gonna close this warning right here because we don't care about that and then we just wait now as you guys can see the iPad automatically rebooted so it it just got out of that recovery mode screen. Now it is showing the Apple logo with a progress bar right here. Hope you can see it. I recommend that you don't touch any of the devices, don't touch the cables, because this is a very, very delicate process. So if you touch the cable right here or right there or move the devices around, you may run into issues. So don't touch the devices, okay? Just wait, you're gonna get this progress bar twice, maybe three times, and then we're good to go. Again, you don't need to touch anything. I'll be back only when we have to interact with it. Okay, as you guys can see, now the software will prompt you with a message saying that iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting to please leave it connected. So that first loading bar has finished, now we are on the, we are on the second. The second one is much faster. And then we can just hit okay here, leave everything connected and wait, okay? Uh, let it do its thing, I'll be back in a second. And so, as you guys can see, my iPad is back. It is right here in the welcome screen, in the setup screen. And of course, we have finally removed our forgotten passcode. That's it. From now on, you can, of course, remove the cable. We don't need that anymore. We can put the computer to the side right here. And then, as you guys can see, you can just normally uh, go ahead and start setting up your iPad normally, as if it is brand new out of the box. So put your language, touch ID and then you're gonna keep moving forward and forward and of course in a few steps from here you're gonna be asked if you want to restore from a backup that backup I mentioned so then you don't lose your information even though the iPad is blank right now you can recover from a backup so that's pretty much it your iPad is good to go uh, passcode removed passcode free and then you can set a new passcode this time please select one that you will remember so you don't have to go through this hassle all over again so that's pretty much it please make sure to hit the like button comment button subscribe button and also check the suggested videos you're seeing on the screen right now that's very important to me so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a few days guys bye bye